I used to be 14 in the crib, trying to be a trap nigga Now I got me some floor seeds at the game, trying to go bad nigga Got me feeling like Spike Lee on the woods, smoking on pad nigga Drunk texting my wifey, so I know I'll get a text bad nigga 45 on my white tee, used to have the shit up on the dash nigga Got a lot of my- Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Skillsy, man, coming at you with a brand new video And in today's video, man, we got another banger video for ya uh, We're doing the Jason Tatum Face creation and build video on the same exact video, man. Cause y'all know how I do these face creation and build two and one. You get to look like the player and play like the player. And today's player is Jason Tatum, one of the new up up and coming superstars in the league. Led his team to the conference finals last year. Let me know if you guys can, you got if you guys think Boston can go to the finals this year with Jason Tatum taking another huge step and to becoming a superstar and solidifying himself as a top 10 player but now without further ado let's get into the face creation but before we do get into the face creation make sure you hit that sub button turn on post notifications because i'm daily uploading from now on and you do not want to miss an upload and let's get into the face creation man so the for the preset header we're going to be using is the first one first throw fourth down and you just want to he's under this dude right here and next to this dude right here we're going to edit him and just to make Tatum. And remember, this, this is a video game and this is the closest I could get to making Tatum. I made Tatum on 2K21 current gen, so I kind of use that to make him on next gen. And I think this looks pretty good considering the fact that this is a video game. So for the hair, we're going with cropped five, a hair color black, no texture for everything else. And if I'm ever going too fast, you guys can always pause the video and copy everything down. For the skull, we're going with the default skull, skull with 14 skull height 7 Moving on forward with the brow we're going with brow number 4 brow prominence 8 temple with 0 eyebrow distance 20 brow position 6 Moving on forward with the eyebrows eyebrow 7 eyebrow color black Moving on with the ears we're going with ears number 8 lower ear angle 0 upper ear upper ear angle 5 ear rotation 10 ear scale 1 Moving on forward with the eyes, we're going with the default eyes, eye color dark brown, eye size 8, eye distance 0, eye angle 10, and 0 for the last 3. I'm going to give you all a couple of seconds to copy this down, and if you've already copied it down, make sure you hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe as well, if, in case you're not. Moving on forward with the nose, we're going with nose number 15, upper nose with 10, lower nose with 9, nose position 8. No, upper nose prominence 13, middle nose prominence 6, lower nose prominence 0. Moving on forward with the cheeks, we're going with cheeks number 2, upper cheek with 18, middle cheek with 12. Moving on forward with the mouth, we're going with the default mouth, mouth with 9, upper lip thickness 16, upper lip prominence 0, upper lip thin position 17, lower lip thickness 11, lower lip prominence 2. I'm going to give you all a couple of seconds to copy this down. And if, and if you've already finished, make sure you comment down below on who I should do next, man. Because I'm going to be getting a lot of these face creations done right now. For the facial hair, we're going with facial hair 11. Facial hair color black. Moving on forward with the chin, we're going with chin number 3. Chin dimple 0. Chin prominence 11. Front chin with 7. Rear chin with 2. Chin position 10. And moving on with the skin, we're going with skin number 8, and we have this to number 4, and everything else is off. And that is the Jason Tatum face creation on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now let's jump into the Jason Tatum build so y'all can play like him, not just look like him. Alright y'all, let's get into the Jason Tatum build now. For the position, we're going with small forward, we're going right handed, and the jersey number does not matter. I believe his number is 0, so we'll just put it on to 0 because that is his number. Moving on forward, for the height, he's listed at 6'8", but we're going to go with 6'7", just so we get a way better build. For the weight, we're going to go with 2'11", and the wingspan will stay the same. Jason Tatum's kind of like a, I'd say like a compact kind of dude, or maybe define. I'll go with compact, or maybe you can even go define. It's up to you. Um, and let's get into the attributes, right? So for the finishing, we want to max out his driving dunk. Max out his driving layup and max out his standing dunk and that will get and that will don't max out his standing dunk, put it at 72 and that will give us set a 12 finishing badges. Now moving on to the shooting, we got we want to max out his three point shot, 
maxed out his mid range shot and put his free throw up to a 71, I believe. No, 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 69, and that will give it get us 20 shooting badges. Now moving on forward, we want to max out his speed with ball, max out his ball control, and put this up to a 71. And yep, and that will give us 13 defense the playmaking badges for his defense. We want to max out his perimeter defense. Put max out his block, max out his def defensive rebound, and put his offensive rebound to an 80 overall, and that will get us 20 defensive badges. Then you want to max out his speed, max out his acceleration, max out his stamina, max out the vertical, and then put his strength up to a 71. So you get great, great, great physicals with this player as y'all can see. You like your lowest physical is a 71 strength. And that's good, right? While you have while you have crazy, crazy stats. So now for the takeovers, we're gonna go ahead and take like a shot kid and take over. Pull up precision and then the finishing moves because they Jason Tatum be yamming it on people. No cap, man. So now, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what I would do with the badges. And the badges are always a template. And you can use it and then just change it up to make it however you like. For I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Posterizer. Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. And then we have four more. You can play around with the last four, to be honest. You can go with Slither Finisher. You can go with Giant Slayer. You can even go with Heat Seeker. But um, it's up to you. We'll just put it on like Slither Finisher for now. Or you can really change it and put it to whatever you, you would like. You can put it as a Lopsity Finisher if you're playing off button, playing the pick and roll. Because this build can play as a big man. Now, uh, for your f shooting, we're going to go with the big four, which is Deep Threes and Gold. But you will get it on Hall of Fame once you're at 96 overall, so you can you'll get 93 pointers, which means you will have um, the Hall of Fame deep threes. No, you will get a 99 overall, and then you have Hall of Fame deep threes, I believe. Or you might have to go one down wingspan, so then you will get 94 three point at 99 overall. Then you can have Hall of Fame uh, deep threes. I think that's what you have to do. So. Make sure you make this one wingspan lower because I wasn't thinking about it because that much but make sure you make this one wingspan lower and you'll be able to get half him deep threes but gold is just fine to be honest with you and if you're gonna go with how I made it put this as your shooting bag setup and you will be godlike alright now moving on to the playmaking we only have 13 but that's good enough going with hall of fame unpluckable hall of fame handles for days gold quick first step and then with two badges left I'm gonna put it on bronze bailout and it'll maybe like bronze diamond just to help out our teammate a little bit man. Now we have 20 defensive badges. We're going Hall of Fame, no not Hall of Fame box, Hall of Fame ankle braces, Hall of Fame ankle, uh, Hall of Fame clamps. And then you can play around with everything else. I'll probably put on like Hall of Fame pig dodger if you're playing as a guard. I'm saying I'm assuming you're gonna play as a guard with this build. Gold intimidated and you have five more. So you can put on maybe bronze chase down, bronze room protector, and then put on like gold. I guess you can you can just do this and then put on bronze like clutch defender in case something happens, man. But this is just a template. You can play around with it and make it however you like. And this is the end of the video. If y'all like the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Links to all my social media will be in the description. And peace out, y'all. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me